Good morning from Animal Kingdom Lodge. And we've got some more animals out this morning. I, the same ones that were out the other day and I still don't know exactly what they are. <laughs> so we're enjoying a quiet, peaceful, quiet. like Animal Kingdom Lodge breakfast out here on the patio together. Yeah, nice. And then this, meanwhile, inside. The feats of strength. They're like, it's like chimpanzees. <laughs> this is why next time we should get a one bedroom. Yes, one bedroom. <laughs> Kicking you out. <laughs> oh, you guys are twinning. Wave, good morning. Woody, are you good? Thumbs up? Are you good? He looks sleepy. He's sleepy. But you're twinning, you look good. Good morning. Magic Kingdom, good morning, castle. Here we are, walking down Main Street. I can't believe you're wearing shoes today. Oh, well, I can't believe you are either. <laughs> what? Don't you normally not wear shoes? <laughs> oh, that was just the first time I left my Oh, just the them. first time. Got it. Okay. Yeah, you're we love your dress. So beautiful. I think they missed getting to hug you. We got Tron progress back here. We're going on Barnstormer. And this is looking pretty good. Other way. Oh! For hey, me, magic. Magic. Has the yeah. Sorry, little Beller. <laughs> he is not good with, with cats. cats. No, he's really not good with cats. <laughs> he's, he's a dog, so. so that's a fair point. He's like a dog, cow, cow dog. I don't think he's a cow. Um, I know. Kind of self-aware dog. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Conductor Mickey, I'm feeling it for sure. We were in the gift shop after Mickey's Philhar Magic. We had the brand new cocoa section. It was awesome, and I love it. Take a quick look around here. It's a great gift shop. I love that piccolo trumpet. And Donald, this is a great sculpture up here with all the all these instruments. We've got flute, trombone, French horn, clarinet, a couple clarinets, piccolo in his hand. Um, like a Susan phone or a Helicon or something like that sticking out. A couple flutes. It's really quite a lot here. Trombones up in here. Oh, yeah, it's got an F attachment also on the trombone. So I never really looked that closely. Trumpet back there too. And then we've got some other stuff up top. Really fun. I love the shop. It would have been a lot of fun to put all that together. We're looking at some hats over here, and they have this one, who you leave today and enter the world of yesterday, tomorrow, and fantasy. I, and then it says Disney Parks on the back. I love this hat. This is so cool. We're not hat wearers, really, but this hat is $29.99, and um, very, very cute hat. If you are a hat wearer, I would definitely recommend that one. That's really great looking. Here we are at Haunted Mansion. We'll be heading in in a moment here. Mr. Toad's in the Pet Cemetery, right up there. Because it is, uh, because his ride has been removed from the theme park. He used to have Mr. Toad's wild ride and it's gone. So he's in a cemetery there. We're watching Madame Leota's tombstone over here. She'll, she comes and checks on things sometimes. There she is. We are stopped in the Haunted Mansion right by this suit of armor. 
there's the rest of our family. It's too dark to see them. But it's a nice breeze here, though. Can't complain about that at all. I haven't taken much time to really look at these. Hallucination, be a witch, apparition, manifestation, metaphysics, clairvoyance, Ouija board. I am a spook and Paul Turgeist. We are in, currently in the Pirates of the Caribbean elevator, yeah. and the, so this is the very uh, theme, highly themed office of, the 19, <laughs> of 1971, uh, you know, or whatever year it was uh, that they opened Pirates. And here we are coming into the magical pirate elevator. Okay, the stairs are right there. He can walk down the stairs too, and these are the stairs that lead down to it. So this is. No, right here. This is the accessible area. All right. Piano player's back. Love it. Love it. One of my favorite things in Magic Kingdom. We are heading over to the Grand Floridian next for dinner. And we are waiting for a resort launch. So we're going to take the boat over to Grand Floridian for dinner. It's time to head on over. Grandpa gave me these coins. Okay, I would be remiss if I did not comment on the chairs that are wearing corsets. This is cracking me up. Every time I walk past this, I think this is so funny. The chairs are wearing outfits. So we are at Citrico's and the kids were cold, so they brought shawls for the children to wrap up in, only at the Grand Floridian. Look what was waiting for us. The happy birthday. We've got, oh, get my crystal light out of the way. We've got, this is waiting for us. Happy birthday, some candies, and this beautiful dessert. Oh my gosh, what a treat. And then the kids got this. Oh my gosh. Oreos. There's Oreos. Oh my gosh. Oh, perfect. We had an absolutely amazing dinner at Citrico's. I would highly, highly recommend that you check out Citrico's. I don't know why it was kind of off our radar for so long. We took so long to get there, but it was well worth it. And it wasn't super hard to get a dining reservation there, so I'm really, really happy. 
So we had a really nice visit at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and got to tour the new studio at uh, Grand Floridian. So you'll be uh, seeing some a tour of that if it's not out already. And we're gonna head back into Magic Kingdom for a late night. And so let's hop on that monorail next. back into the Magic Kingdom for the evening and this is a night where we have the extra hours for deluxe resort guests so we are planning on taking advantage of those tonight so that's the plan we are heading over to Space Mountain and fireworks are going to be starting shortly and so we've made the decision to not watch tonight we watched on a previous night and we plan on watching on our final night hopefully the weather cooperates and um, so, yeah, I mean, there's still things we haven't done here. We haven't done People Mover. We haven't done Space Mountain today. Um, there's some other stuff we definitely don't want to do today. Here we are in Space Mountain queue. And it seems to be moving along really well. It's posted 35 during fireworks. This is during fireworks right now. It's time for Space Mountain. successful trip on Space Mountain if you can film and not drop your device. Going on the people mover next, we're on the ramp escalator thing. This is where we cap stretch. Feels good. Feels really, really good. People mover! It moves me. I am. I love the people mover. So good. Oops, see the castle here. Here we go. Oh, it's Ooh, looking it's so beautiful pretty. right now. It's, it's already had the fireworks show tonight. Here we're gonna go by Tron. Check out the Tron construction. There's a little bit of lighting on it, but not that much. Here's your chance to drive in the fast lane. I'm not worried about getting a speedy cube. I think so. I hope so. Yeah, the one in China. Oh yeah, that's just light reflecting on it. Um, the one in China, like it, the lights chased down the track and stuff. So. That's going to be awesome when this is open, right? Yeah. Look at this. Look how cool it is. Can't wait till we get that ride. When is it going to open? That's the big question. Great view though, huh? Best view we've seen in this. Oh, the castle looks just absolutely gorgeous after the show. Love they like leave projections running on it. it even kind of glimmers and shimmers a little bit if you look closely the projections kind of move and shimmer it's beautiful so i highly recommend checking out the castle after the projection show is over or the fireworks all of it Yeah, we'll go to the bumper. We'll get 
I think it's never looked better. Now for a very, very squeaky ride. Magic carpet of Aladdin. The squeakiest. Very squeaky. I'm not sure how. I'm not sure if I know how. We are at Big Thunder now. And we're getting to the part of the evening where it really starts to wind down. And um, yeah, we're moving along really quickly through the, this is the standby queue. And we are moving. So here we are just nearly at the end of the line in the last few parties for Splash Mountain. We have the extra evening hours because we're staying at a deluxe resort, but Which is great. it is great, but like they don't keep this open during that. So they're like closing up shop behind us as the well, we queue. The right so we're here like as the queue is emptying out. Yeah. So that should be fun. Last few people of the night. I always think it's interesting to come back here and you can kind of see like the loading area back there. I guess that's what that is. <laughs> you can always hear the noise back there. We just finished Splash and it was great. There we were in the last, among the last few parties of the night. And now we are heading on to Big Thunder Mountain in after hours time. So I got drenched. He got wet. I did not really. I got wetter on the Aladdin's magic carpet because the camel spit on me and this was nothing. So anyway, we're going to see how quickly we can get through Big Thunder and just see how much we can get in during this, this uh, special time. All right, that was a quick one. Just a few minutes later, we're downstairs. We're ready to go. We are headed now, passing the Haunted Mansion and um, we're gonna go and see how Seven Dwarfs Mine Train looks. And um, it, I think it was posted like 35 or something. So we'll go see what that looks like. We definitely wanted to do Space Mountain at least another time or two before we go. But as it's getting later and things are starting to settle down in the parks, hoping Seven Dwarfs Mine Train is pretty short. So I'm gonna go check it out. I'll give you a view of what Fantasyland looks like here around midnight. Is it midnight? Close to midnight, I think. 7.55. Yeah, so almost midnight during these extra hours. So I'll show you what it looks like. So here we have still a surprising number of people walking around actually. Um, wow, it's surprising how many people are still in here. So this is, uh, this is Fantasyland during these extra hours for Deluxe Park guests only, which clearly is quite a few people. So, I mean, it's nothing like during the daytime, but still, it's a surprising number of people still hanging around. And um, definitely, there are going to be areas of the park that'll have just almost nobody. But there are going to be certainly be other areas like this where it's pretty happening. So, everybody's kind of drawn to the same same attractions. So. Let's go see how Seven Dwarfs Mine Train looks. We are going to make a go of it with um, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Yeah. Even though it's posted 50. Um, and there is this big lineup of people who are getting scanned in. Um, I think once you get scanned in, there's nobody outside at all. So uh, we're thinking once we get scanned in, it's probably going to move along pretty well. So. We'll see. We'll see how quickly we can get through this. Yeah. Now, our kids are, are dancing. Kanga, kanga, kanga. Kanga, kanga, kanga. 
So it took us eight minutes to get up to the loading platform here at Seven Horse Mine Train. So most of that was just getting scanned in to verify that we were deluxe resort guests. So if you have the opportunity to do this, definitely take advantage of it. Well, that was record time right there. We are on and off Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. The whole experience, probably 10, 10 minutes tops, including the whole queue, scanning in, loading, riding, and then off the ride. That was amazing. So, uh, boy, I, that is the way to ride Seven Dwarfs Mine Train right there. Um, we're headed over to Space Mountain, which we have ridden today, but uh, we expect to do it with a very, very minimal weight, so that's going to be great. Um, so yeah, I'm just really trying, uh, tonight I'm kind of not recording rides or anything, I'm just trying to kind of experience it and like be present with my family, because obviously that's really important too. Um, so I'm just kind of doing that, um, but letting you know, I think it's good for you to know what you can get done on this, these nights. Because like you people are wondering, is it worth planning your days around this? I would say yes, if you can pull off the late hours. If you can manage the extra late hours with your family and be not completely melting down, I think yes, it is worth planning around. Yeah, now this one is an especially late one. This one is yeah. 11 to one. Yeah. So that's a really late one. The Epcot one was nine to 11. And so that was, you know, two hours earlier. So, you know, it, it may, your situation may vary. What you can manage with your group may vary. So you just have to really take that into consideration. But for us, it's really well worth it. Not everyone in our traveling party was able to make it to this point. But for us, it was good. Good evening, Space Mountain. It's actually early the next morning because it's after midnight now. There's a special kind of joy at <laughs> this kind of moment where the kids get to just rush from ride to ride. It's pretty fun. So it's about 12.20 or so at night. We're down to this for Space Mountain queue. Just a few moments of, of queue. Space Mountain again. This is the third time today. I think it's going to be our last thing because we're getting pretty tired. It's 12.30 something, so, you know, pretty late. And uh, off we go once again. Here we are. Walk straight up to the loading platform. And off we go on our next Space Mountain run. Here's a view of Tomorrowland as we're walking out. And uh, we have, uh, we've seen, we've conquered, we've done many, many things today. And it's been amazing. And so definitely, like I said, if you get the chance to do this late night thing, do it. Um, especially I'd say the later, the better, because if it's super late, that really weeds out a lot of people from the theme park. You can see how few people are actually in here right now. Very, very few people sitting around in Tomorrowland. So it's been a great evening. It's been a really long, exhausting day. Yes. But absolutely amazing. Fun, productive. Super fun, tons of done new. so much. Yeah, it's just been amazing. So yeah. we're gonna say goodnight. Thank you so much for joining us. Have an awesome night. We're gonna give you a little view of the castle to say goodnight.